Hello, and welcome. I'm Zander, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. Now, I've cleared out some space over here. Uh, this is part of my original plan. I'm going to expand past through here, and a lot of, like, any of my new stuff is going to be built off of this tunnel. Because uh, this one's basically done, and this one's going to house fluid processing at the end of it. And then that's pretty much it. Basically processing, mariculture, and then everything else ends up in this direction. Like, basic machines, easy access here. But, uh, well, one of the first things I want to make, as you can see, I was looking at that, which we will get to that. But I want to make an energy cell. What this will do is it will make it so the uh, the network, the Applied Energistics Network, can store power. Now, the reason why I want to store power is I want to make sure that, first of all, it never runs out of power. Did that fill up already? I think it might have filled up already. Nifty. Good, good. So, that... Basically, if I were to say, cut this off, right, kill its source of power, which I think is just down under here, I could actually leave this off for a while, and it will drain its power from there, rather than losing it in here. Now, this will show the amount of power the entire network will hold, and you can see it is still going down, but it will maintain a lot more power. And that's just a precautionary measure to make sure that whenever I do make a request using my uh, logistics thing, I'll never have to worry about actually overloading the AE network. Because, well, first of all, you saw how fast power loaded into that. I just, it's one of those things that I don't expect it to ever happen, but I want to take precautions against it. And if I ever do any spatial stuff, I'm going to need a whole bunch more of those anyhow. But, uh,. As I'm sure you had noticed, I have plans to make some enhanced portals. Uh, let's just make a bunch. Because basically I'm going to end up... Uh, one, two, three... I ended up needing them anyhow. First, I'm going to need four of them. Oh, I'm also going to need to make eight of these. And I might as well make ten. And two sets of this. So that's done there. Nope, not you. I need two portal controllers. I'm going to need two dialing devices, which apparently is made from a network interface, and a diamond. There we go. And I'm going to need some location cards. So that should get me good and going. Uh, basically, I still have to go the whole way over there to gain access to the nether. And I don't like it. So as you can see, i got power running up in over here. Now, you'll, this is the smallest size you can make. Uh, I believe any wrench will work. Yes. Now, I think... Uh, maybe I have to put it... There we go. Location set. Very good. Uh, why do you not have any power? Let's just have a look at what's going on down here. Oh, it probably doesn't update in a way that Ender I.O. really supports when that happens, so... There we go. So, what we need to do now is to make a portal. So, in every portal, you need a controller and a dialing device. You also need a network, or a location card. That ties it to this, so it knows where to draw the power from. And that's 
pretty much that. I mean, I can make a nano brush, so then I can paint it and stuff. Eh, not terribly needed at the moment. But then what I can do, because as you can see, I have plenty of portal frames and stuff left over. I can just fly over to my little nether portal over here real quick. I traveled too fast for the world to load. Uh, there's a good safe place to put it. Uh, perhaps here? Now, the thing is, is these portals can build, be built basically however you want. More or less. That feels really small. I don't like it. So I'm gonna make it larger. That should be satisfactory to me. There's now the size of a normal nether portal, so I'll cut that out and that out. Put in a dialing device and a portal controller. Give it that. And I did forget to specify an, ident specify an identifier. Uh, we'll go with Emerald Slime. And then, what I'll do is, because I made the mistake of not setting up the portal with an identifier, I have to go back normally. Still haven't torn down this castle thing here. Uh, I was planning on making an episode for yesterday for you. Uh, oh, it is loud a lot of stuff in there. Uh, however, that ended up not happening because I I figured I could rush a video and it would probably contain not a whole lot of anything interesting and whatnot, or I could just make... Uh, I'll save that. There. Emerald Diamond. So now what I can do is I can add one. I, oh. I have to make the identifier first. And I'll just call this Nether. And I can, you know, change it so things look different whenever I run it. Uh, you can change the particles to whatever you want. Although... I was expecting these to show a proper feedback on them. And then you can just kind of take a block and you can put it in there. So, say I were to dial the nether, I would know that I dialed the nether. Hmm. That's weird. You were supposed to have... So I forgot to save it, isn't it? How about now? Aha! And now, if I were to go through here... Ta-da! And it disguises itself based on how the other portal makes it look, so it actually matches in. But if I were to terminate this, it would go back. Now. It doesn't have to be like that. That's where the uh, the nano brush comes in. Because what the nano brush will allow me to do is just basically set up a design for the portal. But uh, now I have a nice easy way in and out the nether, and it's using. 500 RF a tick, which, by the way, 
the I don't know if I turned it back on after or off afterwards, but uh, it was a configuration issue. Yeah, it's not running at the moment. It was just a configuration issue. The fair power gen configuration wasn't working quite right. And that's been resolved. So that is pretty much the amount of power it generates. It's not quite as much as the other reactor, but there's ways to resolve that. Uh, I've got four cyanide. I'm not entirely sure how much it takes in order to make an entire turbine, but it doesn't really matter to me at the moment. I'm hoping I can get enough steam out of it to run two turbines, but that that's questionable, and I'm not sure if I can do that. Hmm. Kind of get those things out of the way quicker than I had intended. I've been working on... Why have you stopped? That's weird. That's better. Uh, break this, since that doesn't need to be sh extracting anymore. Yeah, I was making vibrant alloy so I could make more of the the green cable, the one that holds 20,000 and some on, which I could salvage quite a bit from downstairs. I think the chance of me ever reaching 20,000 output there is pretty low. And when I made another ME chest with the fluid storage in it, but I don't actually have the necessary components for that. Uh, it's actually from extra cells. ME fluid interface. See, I don't really have any of the components for any of this. Of course I don't. Why would I have the materials? Having the materials is for prepared people. Okay. I should have all the stuff I need for this. Cool. Oh, oh what did I do? Go? Oh, I can't believe I actually had an ME cable. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I wonder if I have another ME cable. Oh, I do. That's convenient. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I hadn't quite prepared for this situation. This is the part of the reason why I need to get things sorted fairly soon. So what I could technically do is I think I can set this to export whatever I want and import whatever I want. So if I get my transceivers from in here set one up right here. This one will now, oh, this one will send fluid, and then if I were to take this, position it next to it, and set it to receive fluid, and I'm not sure quite if I want to do this yet, though. I think what I need to do is get a hold of a bucket of the stuff first. Oh, I kind of want you there. Hmm. Actually, I want you back, because now I can get a bucket worth. Right. I probably left it down below when I was building the reactor, didn't I? Of course I did. Uh, oops, 
too far. I need to be in this room over here. So I'll just pick this up for a second, do that. Of course all the berries are upstairs. I'm kind of surprised it's not full. Oops. Well, I suppose I haven't really been on too much. So now, this... Oh god. That, that filled up much quicker than I expected. Stop. Okay, first things first. Put this here. I should be able to dump this into it as a test. Well, it's gone. I don't know if these actually work in chests. Apparently it does. Uh, however, I can't actually view it in the chest, which is fine. That's about what I was expecting, really. So what I can do is I can put that there. Now I can put these here. Now, it is letting me know on those things, and I should be able to... Yeah. So then that... Well, that's in the down. That's... Uh, I don't want it... Let, let's set the up to mob essence. Already getting a really good amount of it. Uh, I'm probably going to put mob essence and then fuel in here, which... Fuel will require refining the oil, and I'm not really at that situation yet. Now what I can do is I can actually get quite a bit of those. Albeit that's probably way more than I can afford to put in this thing at the moment. Uh, blue. Let's make something. Do I have any conduit? I don't have empowered conduit. Maybe it'll just be better off if I let me use an item duct. And, uh, well, I can request a lever. Uh. Kind of want a strong box, which require a chest. Yes, the Strog. We're now playing Quake. It's just... Oh, of course you're going to complain. Maybe, if you weren't stupid, you actually used the kind of tin I'd like you to use, it wouldn't end up in this situation. So now what I should be able to do is put that there, that there, that, turn that on, flip that like that, and then I can put stuff in there, and this should just keep feeding it into here. Yes, yes, I realize you're angry. So that'll provide me mob essence, and I... Honestly, don't know what'll happen if I were to grab the barrel. Oh, too far. And sit it on top of that. I might have to... Come on now. I might have to actually pipe it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Remember that player interface that disappeared on me? Yeah, same thing happened to it. So, I actually destroyed it when I found it. Uh, cause it was, it ended up in here. I didn't think about that before, and I just assumed that it exploded for no good reason. Uh, yeah, I can't say I'm surprised on that. Uh, eh, I might as well use a regular fluid conduit, it should work fine for this situation. Cool. So that should be pulling it out of here now. Good, good. 
Uh, I kind of wish this was pushing the fluid out faster, but I don't. I don't really know if there's much I can do about that. Nah, it's going at an acceptable enough rate. But look how much is already in here. There's almost an entire drum's worth of fluid in here, and it's doing up pretty quickly. A lot of quickly, actually. And the fact that I've got these fluid storage cells, it makes me realize that I made a mistake, and I'm not going to really need a fluid storage room. But, eh, that's fine. What I think I do want at this point, though, is, well, first of all, let's look at Ender IO again. Because Ender IO has this really, really nifty little thing that I really am glad that it has. Where are you? Come on now. I know you're in here somewhere. I didn't change your icon. So where are you hiding? There you are. Now, these cannot be used for crafting, but they can be used broken these up. Now, as I'm sure you may notice, I can't actually disable its connections, because it's basically an ME cable, but it will fit into the same connections. So, I think I'm going to do one last thing before we stop here. I don't know how long this is going to be, but as I said before, whenever I skip a day, it doesn't really bother me to go a little bit over on the next day. So, the first thing I'm going to need, I believe I'm going to need not you. Yeah, I need one of these. Which means I need one of these. Which means I need one of these. Y you know, I should really just cook up like five of them real quick. And I'll get the other ones later. Shouldn't need them at the moment. Okay, so. Access terminal. Pretty sure I'll need two of these. I think. Oh, not you. You. Conversion matrix. Access terminal. Missing one ME cable. I'm not as surprised as I should be. Access terminal. Throw you back in. Uh, storage cell. Go. Oh, it actually requested the crafting table. That's kind of surprising. Uh, that said, I know that the ME network properly supports these. And a bunch of these other things are going to need to be here now. I'm going to get rid of this now. And replace it with that. Now, this is going to add a little bit more onto the power draw, the network. But now I should be able to do standard things just a little bit better. What? what? That's weird. Culture, there's something wrong with you. Oh well. So, one of the biggest things about this is, for example, say I wanted to make the... But, you know, let's just throw together another strong box, because why not? Now I don't have to request things. And it will show that type of tin, because that's the type of tin it found. Now I'm not going to make it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it how it is. There's no reason to make it. So I'm quite pleased with that now. Uh, the logistics pipes thing, it was good, I used it for a while, but unfortunately it kind of outlived its usefulness. It, it got to the point where it was just wasn't fast enough. How are we doing here? Oh yeah. 
what I could actually do... Now, I don't have any decent way to do it, really. But, I should be able to eventually convert all of this into fluid. Although I'm probably not going to want to convert all of it, I should save some as a liquid. Wrong room. Or, well, save some of it to use as experience for future purposes. Ah, look at that. And I need to make more of these transceivers at some point. But, eh, that's an issue for another time. So I'm quite pleased with this. This gives me access to this, and I can look at this to have an idea of currently just how much mob essence is in here. Now, if I were to make a... I'm not going to make it now, but I'm just going to show. If I were to make... Where are you? Fluid... No, no, no. Fluid terminal. Which is even more of a pain. then I could actually directly access the liquids from right here. But I do plan to move all of these things, and I'll have plenty of this cable, this Ender IO ME cable running all throughout as well, so I can have like a crafting terminal here, and like a fluid terminal, and then I can put them in any other places I need as well. And eventually I'll be able to take Eulorium and export it directly into the thing, pull it out of the thing, uh, cyanite, that is. And unfortunately, I would have to keep it running in order to generate cyanite, and I really don't want to do that at the moment. Although it's not like Eulorium's too hard to come by, so maybe I should. Oh. Okay. So, a th I think I'm going to call this good. Uh, I'm going to need to do something about this setup eventually, but all of this stuff should still be working fine. So that shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to call this good. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.